Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna go over tinting a front passenger window. And this video is gonna be somewhat long just because I wanted to show you guys the process with as very little edits as possible. So you guys can see what I go through on a daily basis, tinting windows. And just to show you that anybody can do this, it just takes practice and time. Since I do use a plotter, what I'm doing right here is basically cutting out the pattern just a little bit bigger than what the plotter cut for me. That way it makes the weeding process a little bit easier. You don't have to do this, it's just something that I found makes my life a lot easier. When weeding the film, I like to start off on the bottom edge or one of the sides and just cut it right in the middle and start pulling the film slowly. I usually like to do it in a pulling motion and it weeds a lot better because sometimes if you're dragging it, you could accidentally cut into your pattern. Plotter cuts are not perfect, so what I'm doing right here is just taking care of that excess little corner. Uh, usually you get two of them where the, the blade lifts and starts back up when it's cutting the pattern. And if you haven't already, if you can subscribe to my channel and hit this video with a like button, I would really appreciate that. Uh, I'm thinking about dropping maybe a full course on how to tint cars. I don't know if it's going to be a charged course, maybe charge a small fee, or if I just put it on YouTube and make money from the views. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think I should do, and I'll consider it. And once your pattern is all set and it's ready to be installed, you want to place the film upside down and with the liner side out. That is going to make the installation a lot easier and you'll see once I start installing it. The next step is going to be to clean the window as best as possible. That way when you install it, you're installing it to a very clean surface. You want to mist the glass with your soapy water solution and then use your white scrub pad to scrub the glass. I use my Easy Reach to clean the inside of those rubbers. Roll the window down slightly and do the same thing to the top. Make sure you clean the top edge really well, especially on old cars because you can get some debris and dirt from the top edge that's going to work its way down when you miss the glass uh, prior to installation. Once you're done cleaning it, you're going to want to use your squeegee to squeegee out the water to one of the sides and make sure you're using it at a slight angle. That way the dirty water is working its way to the side and its way down. You're going to flush the sides and then flush the bottom to get rid of any dirty water you left behind. Mist the glass and then you're going to want to take your liner off and then spray a lot of soapy water on your actual film. When grabbing the film, pay attention to where my fingers are placed. You want to grab it the same way I do. This is going to be the easiest way for beginners. On installation, you're going to want to install the side that's closest to the windshield first. And then you're going to hold it at an angle just like I am in this video. And you're going to slowly work the side closest to the windshield. As you can see, the other end of it is on the glass now. And the soapy water is going to give me the ability to work the film down slowly. And when you get closer to having the film where it needs to be, you're going to have to top in that top corner. Once the film is installed, you're going to want to line up your top edge. You want to leave a very small light gap. It does take time and lots of practice to get this down, so you probably won't get it on your first try. The smoother your install goes, the cleaner the job's going to look at the end. Once you place the film where you want it, you want to miss a little bit of water on the outside of the film. That way you can start squeegeeing the water out. Use your squeegee to squeegee out the water and make sure you have a slight angle on it so the water is working its way out and down. Depending how soapy your solution is, sometimes you can even still adjust it after you squeegee out some of the water.
After doing a soft pass with the squeegee so the film kind of tacks to the glass, I like to do a second harder pass to try to get most of that water out to help the curing process. And to get the water out from the film inside the rubbers, I like to use my contour with slip tape on it and I squeegee at an angle. And for the top edge, I wrap my contour in a lint-free towel and I push out the water right there at the top edge as you can see so it doesn't peel when I put the window up or back down during the installation process. And the lint-free towel is so I don't scratch the film with my tool. Once you're done with the top, you want to roll your window up and then do the same thing to the bottom. Once you have pushed out the water from the film, you're going to want to heat seal it. So you want to wrap your contour in that lint free towel and you're going to use your heat gun to apply a little bit of heat to the corner and the top edge as you push it out so it heat seals the film to the glass. It's going to aid in the curing process and it's going to make it less plausible for it to peel. And once you do the top, you want to roll it up and do the same thing to the sides and the bottom of the film. That way it's uh, heat sealed all the way around. Also, I do want to mention after installation, you want to check over your work to make sure you didn't get any hairs or lint or fibers behind the film during installation. Or if you accidentally touch something while you were installing it, it will look worse after it has fully cured. And you want to maybe chisel those out before you give the vehicle to your customer. And remember, no job will ever be perfect, but you want to make sure you're putting out quality work.